everyone, today I'm going to be editing your photos. These are submissions that you guys sent me a couple of weeks ago for the I edit your photos part three or four video. <laughs> and there were a lot of submissions there that I really loved. So I wanted to do another version of this video today with some extra photos from those submissions. I am also working on making submissions permanently open. So if you have any suggestions about that, please let me know down in the comments below. At the moment, if you want to submit your photos, I kind of announce when submissions are open via my Twitter and my Instagram stories and you just send them via email. But yeah, if I had emails open permanently, I feel like that inbox would be full all the time. So I need to work out some kind of system. So hopefully in the next version of this video, I'll have something open for you guys to submit. Okay, let's get started. The first photo we have is by Dominic. And the first thing I like to do to any low light or underexposed photo is to bring up the exposure quite high just to see how much detail we have to work with, which in this photo seems like quite a lot, which is good. So I'm gonna pull it down a little bit cause I don't want it to be that bright. And then I'm gonna hit the shortcut R for crop and straighten out the image. One of the first things I'm noticing about this photo is that it looks quite colorful since it was taken on what looks like to be a main street of a city. So in HSL, I'm gonna click on saturation and I'm going to start by bringing down the magenta and the purple sliders. Also going to bring down the blues and aquas to help mute those lights. And then I'm also going to see what happens with the yellows. I'm going to bring the yellows up because I really love the color of the trees in the background. So I kind of want to accentuate that. And then we'll see with orange. I'm going to bring the orange slider down ever so slightly to help with the subject's skin tone. And then with red, I think I'm going to pull it up because I really want her dress to stand out. It's a really beautiful color. The next thing I want to do is go into hue. With the red slider, I want to bring it down to kind of bring out a more crimson color in the subject's dress. And then with yellow, I want to pull that down to make the yellow in the background appear more orange and red. I feel like that would really suit this photo. And then I'm also going to do the same thing with green. And then the last hue slider that I want to play around with is the blue slider. I'm going to bring that down so the dark blue lights in the background have a little bit more of like an aqua turquoise kind of color to them. With luminance, I really want to bring out the background and our subject. So I'm going to pull the orange slider up to make those colors appear brighter. The same with yellow. I want to pull that up so the trees are a little bit brighter in the background and the green slider as well. Now I want to focus on the tones. So I'm going to start by bringing down the highlights. I'm also going to bring up the shadows to bring out even more details in the photo. And I'm going to bring the black slider down to add more contrast into the overall image. So that looks really cool. And then I think I'm also going to bring the temperature down. The next thing that I'm going to do is add a tone curve. So I want to matte the blacks because we have quite a lot of matte the shadows because there's quite a lot of uh, dark areas in our image and then pull down on the blacks. And that'll kind of help add a really nice soft tone to the blacks. Then I'm going to pull up on the midtones to help brighten up our subject and some parts of the background. And then I'm going to slightly pull up in the highlights here and then I'm also going to matte the whites. So now I feel like I want to add a bit more color to this photo so I'm going to go into the blue channel of our tone curve and pull down on the blacks of our tone curve to add more warmth and then pull up on the highlights of our tone curve to help balance out her skin tone. And then I'm also going to go into the green slider and I'm gonna pull the shadows down to add some warmth. And then again, just to counter the green, the reds that were added from that, I'm going to pull up on the highlights. And then I'm gonna, again, bring down the temperature a little bit cause it's looking very warm overall. Okay, so then for some final touches to this image, I really like the overall tone and the overall colors. I'm going to add a adjustment brush a graduated filter, I always call it the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start by pulling one up here on the ground and I want to bring the exposure of the ground down. And then I also want to add another one here to the left of the image. I'm gonna bring the exposure up and then I'm gonna add yet another one to the right side of the image. 
with kind of the same effects that we had here, just a little bit more exposure. And this is the final before and after of this photo by Dominic. The next photo we have is by Stephanie and this is more of a fashion image. I love the style of everything in this photo so I really want to edit it. I'm going to start by giving this quite a harsh S-curve. I really want to matte the blacks in this photo so I'm going to pull the shadow slider quite high up. Then I'm going to pull down in the blacks and just add, you know, a basic little S-curve that I love to do. <laughs> so normally I like to just kind of place my points down on the S-curve, which can look kind of crazy in the image that you're editing. But once you've put them down, I just like to kind of move them slightly until I'm happy with what it looks like. So the next thing I want to do is bring down the highlights as we've got quite a lot of bright areas in the image that I want to save as much as possible. I'm also going to bring up the shadows so we can get back some detail in the model's hair and some in the background here as well. And then I'm also going to bring down the blacks. So I think that looks pretty nice there. I might also bring the white point up as I want this image to look quite fresh and bright. So after adjusting the tones, I feel like the image is looking really orange or at least her skin tone is. So I'm going to bring down the temperature a bit more into the blues. And then I'm also going to go down into saturation of HSL and bring down the orange slider. And then I think I also need an adjustment brush here on her face because her chest is kind of looking a lot warmer than her face. So I'm just going to make a really big adjustment brush that kind of just goes over the majority of her face here and bring up the temperature slightly. So I feel like this still needs some more warmth, but I don't want to bring up the temperature. So I'm going to use the blue channel in the tone curve and add a very similar S curve that we did to the overall tone curve. And then I'm going to go into split toning to kind of help balance out um, the colors that we added with the tone curve. So for the highlights, I'm going to go for a nice yellowy color. And then for the shadows, I want to go for a orange color. I think that's really nice. And I'll bring down the saturation. So again, I'm making her skin tones orange every single time I do something. So in saturation, I'm going to bring that down even more. I'm also going to bring the red saturation slider down too. And then in luminance, I want to bring up the yellow and the green slider to brighten up these leaves in the background. Okay. That's not really doing anything. We're going to add a graduated filter and I'm going to just drag it across the side here and I'm going to bring up the shadows of that. Might bring down the temperature and the tint as well. The next thing I want to do is to bring down the saturation a little bit and then I'm also going to bring the vibrance up. And then one more thing, I am going to bring the hue of the greens down a little bit and I'm also going to bring the hue of the red primary down in camera calibration down as well. And I'm going to bring the blue primary saturation slider up. And then the final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this photo in Photoshop and use my Wacom tablet and my Photoshop frequency separation retouching action to do the final touches on this image by retouching her skin in like a natural way, but it'll kind of help tie the final fashion feel to this photo together. The next photo we have is taken by Anna. So the first thing I want to do is hit the shortcut R for crop and I'm going to straighten out the photo. And I'll also get your subject in the very center of the frame as well. So I'm going to start by brightening, brightening up the overall photo. And then I'm also going to bring up the shadows to bring out some more details in the forest that's in the background. And I'm also going to bring down the blacks to add some more contrast. And I'm also going to bring the contrast slider up. And then I also want to straight away bring down the saturation slider because I know I really want to focus on the greens of this image and I don't really want to see too much orange or yellow or reds and things like that. Scrolling down to HSL, I want to start and try and focus on bringing out as much detail in this forest as possible. So I'm going to bring the luminance of yellows up and the luminance of greens. So in hue, I'm going to bring the yellow slider up to make the forest appear more lush. Usually I bring it down if I want to bring out like the autumn vibes and make trees look a lot more yellow and orange in a photo, but this time we're going to go the opposite way. And then the same thing with the green slider. I usually bring it down to make trees appear more 
yellow and fall vibes, but this time I'm going to bring it up to add to that lushness. Next up, we've got our split toning. So for the highlights, I think I'm just going to go with a nice subtle color. And then for the shadows, I want to see if maybe like a green or a blue color will help accentuate the forest in the background more. I feel like just here in the middle, like a, a nice light blue color would kind of suit the image. And then I'm going to bring the balance slider more up into the highlights. So the highlights area affects more of the image than the shadows does, if that kind of makes sense. And then I'm going to scroll all the way back up and I'm going to bring the temperature up. And then I'm also going to bring the tint up ever so slightly, maybe like plus 12 is nice. So now I'm going to scroll down to calibration and I want to bring the hue slider of the blues down. And then I'm going to also bring the green saturation down and I'm going to pull the red saturation down a little as well. The next thing I want to do is add a graduated filter to the bridge here in the corner. I don't really want to add an overall vignette to the photo because I don't want to darken the trees in the top corners any more than they already are. So I'm just going to drag one of these across the corner here and I'm going to bring down the exposure. So I feel like the bridge is taking away a lot of attention. So if we just bring down that exposure a little bit, it should help the eye be led to the subject a bit more. So I think that looks nice. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And now that I see it on both sides, the exposure is probably a bit too dark. So I'm just going to soften that up a little bit more. I feel like that just really brightens up where the subject is standing and helps bring all the attention there to the center of the frame. So I really like how that turned out. Here is the before straight out of the camera and the after. And then the final portrait we have is taken by Victor. So I'm going to start by bringing up the exposure just a little bit, and then I'm going to add a soft uh, matte black s-curve to the shot as well i think i need to straighten out the image too it looks a little bit crooked so for this photo i think we're mostly going to be focusing on the tone curve and on split toning to achieve the colors that i'm kind of envisioning for this photo so i'm going to start with the blue channel as usual and i'm going to bring the shadows of the blues up and then I'm going to bring the blacks and midtones down to add some green and some warmth. And then I'm going to bring the whites up to kind of balance out his skin tone more as well. And then I'm going to bring the temperature up to make it warmer and the tint as well. The next thing I want to do is bring down the saturation slider and bring up the vibrant slider because I really love these trees and these colors in the background. And then now we're going to go into split toning. So I'm going to start with the shadows this time and I'm going to bring the saturation up quite high. So I feel like blue looks really nice in the shadows, but I also really like how yellow and orange look as well. So I think we might go for this because this is more kind of the style that I'm going for with the edit. And I'm going to leave the saturation up quite high for this one. And then again, I'm going to do the same thing with the highlights and see what color suits the image the most. Ooh, I like that kind of bluish purple look. So I think I'm going to keep it there. And again, I'm going to keep the saturation up quite high for this one too. The next thing I want to adjust is that I can see a little bit of greens in the midtones, which is probably from our tone curve here. So I'm going to try making a new tone curve in the green channel and bringing down the shadows. Oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> so I love what this image is looking like so far and I could leave it like this to have a natural but colorful edit, but I still want to see if we can make it a bit more muted. So I'm going to go into saturation in HSL and I'm going to start by bringing the orange slider down. And then I might bring the, I'm going to bring the red slider up because I really like the red um, highlights in the background. I'm also going to bring the yellow saturation down and the green slightly as well. And I think I'm also going to bring the blue slider down too, because we've got quite a lot of blue up here and under here, everywhere where the building is painted white, essentially. So I'm just going to bring it down slightly. And then in luminance, I want to bring the orange slider up a tiny bit, the same as red, yellow, green. And then blue, I think I want to bring it up quite high. I still want to adjust the colors a bit more. So I'm going to go to calibration and I think I'm going to bring the green hue slider up, which will 
don't know, it kind of makes the colors look more warm, which I like. And then I might also bring the blue hue down slightly as well. And then I'm going to bring the red saturation slider down. And I'm also going to bring the tint of the shadows up more into the pinks, but only by like, I think plus two is more than enough. And then I'm also going to just adjust the points of our blue curve a little bit more as well. So I'm gonna bring the blue blacks point up <laughs> and also the blue midtones point up. And then in the green, I'm going to pull the greens down again, just a little bit for that nice amount of warmth. And I think I'm really happy with how that turned out. I really like the overall colors of this image. So here is the final before and after of this photo taken by Victor. But yeah, that's all we have for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching that. I hope you learned something from seeing me edit some different photos in different styles in Lightroom. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you guys all next time. Bye.